Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you the settings to use to get the best performance possible in FC26 on PC. This optimization will work well for high-end PCs and mid-range PCs, but the biggest performance boost is going to be on low-end PCs and laptops. So let's go. Once the game launches, use your controller or your mouse to select the gear icon at the top left. This will take us into settings. In settings, we move to game settings and then select it. As you can see, my game launched in windowed mode. So I'll just go to the display section and change the display mode from windowed mode to full screen. This year, EA have separated both display and graphic sections, which looks like a good sign. We'll start at the graphic section. For the graphics presets, the options are low, medium, high, and ultra. It could be on any of these because once we start to tweak the settings, it will change automatically to custom. For rendering quality, you should choose medium. This year, low doesn't look good at all. I've tried all of them, low, medium, high, and ultra. Low looks very, very bad. For visual quality, it looks bad. But if you are still experiencing lag, then you can go ahead and set it to low. There is a new information center on the side, that is the right hand side, to show how it affects your CPU, GPU, and VRAM. Strand base hair should be turned off. Grass quality should also be set to low. I experimented with it. When you look to the side, you can see that its effect on system resources is pretty low. So we can set it to medium to look a little better. But for ultimate performance, we'll leave it on low. Card quality should also be set to low. And cloth quality should be set to low as well. Ambient occlusion quality also low. Looking at the side, we can see that it clearly affects CPU and GPU greatly. It has a great impact on CPU and GPU resources. So we'll leave it at what low. Then we move to the final one for this section, which is motion blur. You can choose either option, whether on or off, because either of them doesn't affect performance as much, right? But for the ultimate performance, to squeeze out every little bit of FPS, especially when you're on a laptop, you should set it off. Now we're moving to the display section. We're going to start off at display mode. For the best experience, with no lag or delay, you'd have to go with full screen mode. Full screen mode reduces input delay and then tearing. For the aspect ratio, it should be on 16.9, which is the aspect ratio of most monitors nowadays. Screen resolution should be set to your monitor's native resolution. When you set the resolution to your monitor's native resolution, it reduces lag and input delay. At native resolution, your GPU and monitor don't waste extra processing power on scaling the image. So let's make sure to set it to the native. If your screen is a 1440p screen, set it to 1440p. Don't try to reduce it. That will rather cause delay. For refresh rate, leave it at the highest your monitor can go. For pros and many competitive players, they prefer to leave it at 144. That is if their monitor goes higher to avoid ghosting and screen tearing. For frame rate limit, go unlimited. This option is only active when the next option, which is V-Sync, is off. The next thing is cutscene performance. For the best performance possible, set it to half frame rate, especially for those playing on laptops and low-end PCs. Render scale should be left on 100. You should only lower it when the game is so laggy and unplayable. Dynamic resolution scaling should be set to off. Now let's go to the accessibility tab. Go down a bit and you see player shadows and stadium shadows. I've played around with these settings and the truth is, the game doesn't look good with the player and stadium shadows off. But if you are only concerned about a playable experience, you should turn them on. The next thing we are going to do is to move to Windows settings. We are done with the in-game settings. We move to Windows settings. So in Windows settings, the first thing we are going to do is game mode. So we go into settings and then we click on gaming and then we select game mode on the left hand side. Now the benefit of game mode is that it makes sure that it silences all background activities. So things like notifications and things that can interrupt your gameplay. Game mode makes your PC prioritize the game and turns all background activity off to make sure that the game is able to utilize all the CPU resources. Next thing we are going to do is go into power option. With so much testing, I can confidently say that the best power plan to use is balanced or ultimate performance. But then the best one is ultimate performance. If you don't have ultimate performance, don't worry, just go back to my previous video where you find how to use ultimate performance. And I'll leave the ultimate performance power plan CMD prompt in the description of the video. So for the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to deanimate Windows. Now we're going to search and we type advanced system settings. In advanced system settings, there's a section called performance. We are going to click on settings inside that performance section. Now, normally when it is opened, 
it will be on let windows decide or adjust for best appearance what we are going to do is that we are going to select we are going to select custom when you select custom everything will be off and then we select only these three which are show thumbnails instead of icons show window content while dragging and then smooth edges of screen fonts and then we click on ok and then we click on apply and then ok these are all we need right show thumbnails instead of icons show window content while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts the next thing we are going to do is to move to amd radiant settings the next thing we are going to do is to move to our graphic settings just right click on the screen and then select amd radiant settings first thing is to make sure that our driver is up to date whenever there's a new game amd releases a driver update to make sure that it caters for the game so as you can see you go to the top right of the screen when you open your amd radio software and then you click on manage updates you can see that i've already downloaded the latest version of amd drivers next thing we do is we go to preferences you click on the gear icon at the top right which is the settings icon once you click on it then you click on preferences in preferences let's make sure that all these things here are disabled whether it is in-game overlay web browser system tray menu disable each and every one of them after settings, we go into display. Now in display settings, just at the left side of the screen. Now if AMD FreeSync is supported by a monitor, make sure to enable it. And then now we can go to gaming. Click on the gaming tab at the top. And then we click on graphics. Now normally you have a few tabs here, which is the performance, quality, hyper RX, eco, default, and then custom. If you have a newer AMD Radeon graphics card, it's going to look different. Now for super resolution, Radeon super resolution, it needs to be disabled. Anti-lag also disabled. Radeon boost also disabled. Radeon chill disabled. One thing you can work around with is Radeon image sharpening. You can leave the sharpness to about 60 to 80. It doesn't take much of CPU or GPU resources. Radeon enhanced sync should also be disabled. Frame rate target should also be disabled. Next thing we are going to go into is texture filtering quality and then select performance. And also tessellation mode, we are going to override application settings and then set maximum tessellation level to off. Another thing you can do is to perform a shader cache reset. This is going to clear all the shaders and then make sure that the game runs well, clears all old shaders. Next thing we are going to do is to disable startup apps. So we are going to right click on the windows icon on the tax bar and then select tax manager in tax manager we are going to click on startup there are certain apps that start running as soon as your cpu starts up and these apps what they do is they take a lot of cpu resources especially when you are gaming so what we'll do here is we'll disable the startup app so that we have a lot of cpu resources ready for when we launch our game what you will do is you right click on the app and you click on disable if the app is already enabled just click on disable so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to go back to search again and then type core isolation. Now, when you go to core isolation, you're going to see something called memory integrity. We are going to make sure to turn memory integrity off. Now, core isolation is a Windows security feature that uses virtualization to protect sensitive parts of your operating system from malware. It improves security. It can also hurt gaming performance on some PCs. Once you have Windows Defender, you'll be fine. The next thing we are going to do is make sure that our GPU prioritizes our game. So we are going to go into settings and then go into system settings. Once we are in system settings, we click on graphic settings. Uh, there's an option to add a game. So we are going to click on browse and we go into our file explorer. And then we are going to look for our FC26 game. We click on add. So once the game has been added, you click on options. You can see let windows decide power saving or high performance. This works exceptionally well for people on laptops who have um, dedicated graphics and integrated graphics. If you don't choose the best option here, which is your dedicated graphics card, it can push it to your integrated graphics card, which will run poorly. So select best performance, which is your dedicated graphics card. One more thing we are going to do is to go back into our game folder. And then we are going to look for the FC25 application, the launcher, and then we right click on it. When we right click on it, we'll click on properties. This particular settings, works well on low-end PCs and laptops. If you have a high-end PC, you don't need to do this. If you are trying to squeeze the most performance possible out of your game, then this is for you. We're going to click on disable full screen optimizations 
and then we move to change high dpi settings and then in high dpi settings we're going to click on override high dpi scaling behavior and then we click on apply and then we click on ok these are all the settings i have for you to boost your fps in the newly released fc26 my optimization video has come a bit late because i took my time to play around with the settings to see the ones that are best for you so if you like my video please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video we are trying to reach 10k subscribers so let's go thank you very much god bless you yo